Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well in your realm. It feels like it's been a minute, but like, it was just last week. It's fine. <laughs> if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. It's nice to meet you. I'm about to babble your face off, okay? This isn't that long of a video, but guess what I'm gonna do the whole time? I mean, you know, shit happens. God, you know, like, it's... Listen, I don't know what day it is, okay? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, things just haven't been the same since... But I bet you understand, right? I think that where my mental health and my emotional health and just my well-being have been, like, I'm just down for some visual story time, okay? <laughs> just lay it on me. <laughs> Fuck this reading but shit. I did read one story, and I'm in the middle of another one. And what I did read was Rebecca. Finally read Rebecca. I don't know if you're like me. And people have been telling you your whole life that it is a freaking why, why words, why now? My brain, it just like blanks out sometimes, you know? Two hours later. Gothic romance, son of a bitch. Gothic romance. If anyone told you that's a gothic romance and that's why it's on your Goodreads to fucking read list, No, 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 no. Gothic y, yeah, sure, it's got the vibes. Um, but romance? I'm trying to make sense of it. Like, it's another chance to say, like, who the fuck hurt you or something, right? But, like, bitch doesn't even have a name. Did you know the main character? doesn't even have a name the whole fucking time. Which, at first, I don't know what I was watching or reading in the meantime while I was reading that shit, but I spent, like, a good third of the, like, novel thinking she did have a name, and it was Evie for some reason. I can't really explain myself other than how... I just did, didn't I? Anyway, moving on. So, I thought she did, and when I finished the book and I went, like, did I... That ending... Did I get this correctly? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I was online doing my thing, and freaking, I like, people pointed out that the main character doesn't even have a name, and I was like, she does? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. No, she doesn't have a name. <laughs> I tell you, my brain sometimes, I, do, I don't know. I have no excuse. What it is, however, if you're down for me saying, is a psychological thriller. That's probably the closest I would personally come to, to not describing it, but, you know. Where am I going to shelve this in the store? The fucking thriller section, thank you. Well, no, that's not where she... Where did we have that bitch? Daphne, what do we do with you? So, I don't even remember it, man. Uh, like, you know, it was just yesterday. It's kind of like, this story is... Kind of like a stream of consciousness, just, which tends to be my jam. But my problem that I think that I had when reading this, even though when I would actually sit down and give it my focus, because <laughs> that wasn't it, um, you know, freaking, I would just go balls deep, man. But like, it wasn't pulling me to it, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in the middle of the book, like, it's no Mike Thorne is all I'm saying. So, like, you know. And I also felt that I'd already read it. I'd already watched it. Felt like I just took too long to, you know. It's like when I read and watched Fight Club, finally. It was the same goddamn thing. Why do we always bring it back to Chuck? So, God, why is, why? Every time. Every time. You heard that, right? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, now somebody's at my fucking door. Hello? Hello? 
long. Maybe then. Fuck them. It's just fog. This is this is fog out there. So. So it says to the guy, and then I don't know. Like, I appreciate the stream of consciousness. Sometimes you know this is just what you want to write, but like. I don't know. I don't know what my problem was, but you know, one thing that I do know about my problem? I don't have a problem. I have problems. Plural. More points to your house, if you know what the fuck that quote comes from. Um, hint, it's a Tim Roth quote. So... Hello, Betty. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. One way Please tell me you're hearing that in the comments below, please. I beg of thee, because I'm going crazy. I swear I keep hearing shit. One thing that never quite lived up to anything, because once I finished the book, of course I started watching the movies. I haven't watched the Hitchcock one yet, yet. I'm kind of saving that one, because I also kind of hold Hitchcock at arm's length ever since learning he was a bit of a douchebag to his wife, but moving on. Am I crazy? Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this before I lose my damn mind. I'm losing my damn mind. All right. Fuck. You know, I can't even blame the raccoons because it's not nighttime anymore. It's just fog. I don't know. I've gone searching for it several times. I have no idea what's happening. So we're just gonna move on and just ignore that shit. If you hear it, let me know. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't science it, man. Okay, so. Shaking. Um, freaking Mandalay Bay. That's how they pronounce it in the movie. I'm pretty sure I always, like, in my head was, like, Mandalay. What about you? Mandalay or Mandalay? The, what's her name? With the cannibal dude. That just came out this year. I watched that one first. That was, that was pretty, I was, like, I, was, I was not mad. I wasn't mad about it. That was actually pretty good. So far, it might be my favorite one, but we'll see. Speaking of stream of consciousness, Jesus. I've had so many interruptions, so many distractions. I don't, I still don't know what that fucking sound is. I don't know. That's... So far, nothing has been able to compare to how I imagined it. You know what I mean? Like, I want to go there. Dude, I had it like, it, it was so cool in my mind, you know, the way it's described and shit. Um, that, but I guess that's the gothic shit, right? Like the tone, the whatever the fuck, but nah, it's not a gothic romance. So if anybody tried telling you that and that's, you know, just nah, don't be disappointed. It's not. I mean, you may not be disappointed. You may still like that shit. It's fine. I don't know what the fuck. I'm in the middle of Hell House, though. Dominoes. So far so good and I realized I watched that movie a while ago. That shit's old. Isn't it from like the 70s or some shit? I really like it. I didn't realize how prolific, is that the right word? Richard Matheson was, right? Like he even fucking wrote for Star Trek, didn't he? Am I getting the right guy? Like he did a lot. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm really enjoying the book. It's cool. I don't remember there being a phallic church in the movie, though. Was it phallic? <laughs> like I said in the beginning, I hope that you've been well. I uh, try to watch over people and make sure, you know, in the meantime, in between time and shit. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we're coming up on a year anniversary for this channel. I have no idea what that means for the channel or us. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought of anything. <laughs> anyway, until next time and beyond. Look, it feels like it's been forever since I've said that. Please take care. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just gonna try. Okay? All right. Okay, tell me you heard that one, please.